टाइम टू राइट नाउ इन नोटबुक सो चैप्टर वन वॉट अ बर्ड थॉट These are a few word meanings, new words that we have learned in the poem. Flutter is to fly unst unsteadily. Straw, bright thin stalks of thrash green. Beyond, far from. These are rhyming words. Whenever we write in notebook, I will suggest that you will always keep your book open. To find out the rhyming word, look at the last word of each line. For example, in first stanza, first line, house is the last word. Second line, last word is well. House and well, they don't rhyme with each other. Third line, third word is round. No. And the fourth word is shell. Now let us find out which two words rhyme with each other. That is well and shell. So from first stanza, we get well and shell. Now in the same manner, Read the second stanza. Next is the last word of the first line. Other, straw and mother. So we get another pair of rhyming word that is other and mother. And in the third stanza, we get fine and blind. And in the last stanza, the pair is <coughs> blue and you. Simple question answers. Describe the following in one or two line. The first little house of the bird. The first little house of the bird was small and round. It was made of pale blue shell. The second, nest. The nest was little one made up of straw. And the third question, the world around the bird's nest. So the world around, around the bird's nest was the tree full of leaves. Imagine the following and write each in your own words. What the world looks like to a baby. We have discussed that. Everything in the world is new and strange. For a baby, the baby is very puzz always puzzled. It is always curious and the world of the baby revolves around its mother. And the second is what the world likes to a fish. So for a fish, the world is the blue water around it. We all know that fish cannot survive without water. The world also revolves around the aquatic flora and fauna. There are many small plants in the water. That is the food of the fish. Try to write. Otherwise, these answers I will provide you in the next week. Homework. Repeat the word meaning twice. Read and understand well the questions and answers. Repeat only one time. Write everything in the same notebook. Do not make separate notebook for homework and classwork. So that is all for today. Let us meet again in the next learning period. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay indoors.